Now, before we get started, you should know that the feature I'm going to show you in this video has only been added to Reaper 7.23. So if you're using an older version, make sure you update to get this functionality. So the project setup here, and as you can tell, the song starts at bar three. I have to fall apart. And the reason for this is that usually I want to leave some space before the song starts over here, maybe to create a pickup, or just give some time for the artist to play. So I very rarely start my songs on bar one. I usually start at three, five, or seven. And because of that, the bars or measures are going to be off based on when our song actually starts. So if I want to know where the vocal comes in, doesn't really come in at bar seven as the song starts over here on bar three, which should really be bar one. And it's the same issue for time. If you look in the transport, the song actually starts at four seconds or 4.3 seconds, when really we want it to start at zero. So to adjust that in previous versions, we'd have to go to the file menu, project settings, go to the project settings tab and go down here and set zero to the current edit cursor and set measure one to the edit cursor. And now it's fixed. So a song starts at bar one, as we can see over here in the ruler and also in the transport. And also it starts at zero seconds over here and also up here. So to see where verse one starts, we know it starts at bar five and about 8.6 seconds. So that's a lot more useful for us. But in the newer versions of Reaper, starting at 7.23, we don't have to do it that way. We could put our cursor on the downbeat of the first bar and right click in the ruler and go down here and choose change start time measure and set it to zero over here. And also set it to measure one over here. That also fixes that problem. I have to fall but for me, it's actually a better way to do this. Now that Reaper created actions to do this over here, we could do it using mouse modifiers. So let's undo this. Let's go to our preferences, control P on the PC, or command comma on the Mac. That opens up our preferences. We'll scroll down under editing behavior to mouse modifiers and go to the context for ruler, left click. And we can see there's a few options over here that are not being used. So I'm gonna choose control over here and double click it, go to the action list, and we'll find those new actions that have been added to Reaper. We'll type into the filter current edit cursor and those actions are right over here. To set the cursor to zero as far as time and measure one as far as bars and beats. Now we could do it one at a time using different mouse modifiers, but I like to do it together using a custom action. So I'm gonna select both of these, go to new action and create new custom action, which is gonna trigger both of these actions at the same time. We'll give it a name and save it. Now the custom action shows up right here. Let's double click it and it applies it to this mouse modifier. So now hit okay. If I hold down that modifier, I can just click anywhere in the ruler. Go to bar three, it resets it to bar one, zero seconds. Do it on bar two, over here, on the verse, or even reset it going back to the beginning. Resets it back to bar one, zero seconds. Now there are situations where you want the time to be different than the measures. Put it back over here. Let's move our vocals earlier by nudging them. Now they start over here. I have to fall apart. So in that situation, we don't want zero seconds to start with bar one. We might want it to start exactly with the vocal. So for that, we might want to create a different mouse modifier. In the same window, let's add the shift key to this one, double click it, go to the actions list, and this time I'll just choose this one. Double click it, 
Now it shows up over here. Now we still have the custom action over here, but that's okay. We can just set this one first and then set this one where the vocal or any pickup comes in. So now let's reset it all right here. We want to start at bar three. Let's reset it to bar one. Go to the beginning of our vocals. Make sure we turn off snapping so we don't have to put it exactly on the bar. So we can put our cursor right where the vocal starts. Then hold on the new modifiers and click. And that sets this point to zero seconds. So the vocal starts or the song starts in this situation right on zero seconds. I have to fall but the downbeat of the first bar of the song still starts at bar one. I have to fall apart. Again, we can reset both of them with the other modifier. Click here, goes back to bar one, zero seconds. We want to change it over here. It does both at the same time. Turn off snapping, put our cursor at the beginning where we want it. Hit the other mouse modifier, hitting the shift key. And that sets it exactly at zero seconds. I have to fall apart. Of course, that only matters if we have a pickup on the song. If we don't, let's put this back. We can just do it all with one mouse modifier. Just click up here. It puts both back to bar one and zero seconds. We'll do it here if we need to, or here. Or starting at the verse, if that's where you want bar one zero seconds to be, we're well back to the beginning to reset it all. But with just one click, we can reset it based on the start of our song, giving us negative bars before the song starts. And then it all starts at bar one zero seconds. So of course, you can still do it by right clicking over here in the ruler and choosing it right over here and here. But I think it's a bit quicker to use the mouse modifiers using the custom action we created. We can just click over here to reset it to bar one and zero seconds. And if there's a pickup, just use the other action. Turn off snapping and just put a cursor where we need it to be. Wow. Click right here. Adding shift. Now that's set up exactly to zero seconds. So it's a great way of resetting our project to bar one and zero seconds in the song. So that's pretty much it. That's resetting the time and measure in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.